Okay, part two. You take this without squeezing it too hard because you don't want to bend it. All right, so I'm adjusting my wrench here so it doesn't have so much power. Squeezing power, you see, and it doesn't take much. You can easily remove it and put it there. And this is the problem we have. <laughs> this one should come off pretty easy. There it goes. It is out. You see how we have a lot of water, hard water, so it creates, you know, clogs up. So this one is no good. There it is. And we're gonna replace it. to put it in this is has an H I'm not sure if you can see it has an H for hot and on this side does not have a sign but this side is the cold and this is the hot okay so I know this is the hot on the left but before doing that I'm gonna wipe it down, try to clean in here as best as I can, to try and get all the debris out. Okay. It feels pretty clean. Okay. And now it's just putting everything back. Same way you took it off. You could change this gasket, but this gasket is more to like hold the cover. So it doesn't really do much. All right, so we don't need to do that one. This gasket comes with a new gasket. And again, you have to make sure your hot side goes to the hot side, okay? And it has this little I'm not sure if you can see it, but they fit right in there. You see that? And now we're in. Both sides, pretty good. And usually the company sends it preset with a safe temperature, which I'm gonna do that right now and just leave it the way it is. Then We'll reattach it. That goes in there. And again, not using a lot of squeezing power with your wrench. And that should be plenty. Again, this one goes here, and now we put the cover in. And as you can see, this is one of the hardest parts of the job for me. It has these guides, but this is where the screws are gonna go to attach your cover. So you insert this, and as you can see in there, There's a screw that you can use, and I'm gonna reuse that side with that one. 
or you can use that one, but that one's way in the back more, and the other one, either crisscross, but I'm gonna go with the one on number, either one and seven, and you insert your sleeve, same direction, try and line it up with the one and seven, which it doesn't look like it's lined up. There we go. That looks better. I know the camera might not make it that good, but it is lined up, okay? So that's, that's that. We'll put that in. Now that that's tight, we can turn the water on. Turning the water on again. Cold water. And hot water. We're getting a lot of water coming out. And the reason that's happening is because this bottle is open. So we're gonna close it. See? It's close. Open. Close. Alright, so that's close. I'm gonna continue opening the water because I didn't open it all the way. And it looks like we're good. Okay, so now on this side we have a problem again, as always, when you're dealing with old stuff. The gasket for this shot of all is dripping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this knot and that should correct that technically. If it doesn't, it's gonna be another video, which I would have to close this water and find the main shot off for this Rex, for this shower, shut that, shut that water off and replace the whole gasket there. But I don't wanna do that, so everything should be good. After that, after I'm gonna tighten that up, and like then you put your cover back on, Again, I'm not gonna put that cover back on. I'm just gonna use my other hand because I need to get that taken care of before. All right, and hope you learned something and enjoy.